Hey, so a few things have changed in Moto 12.1 regarding uh, the Vertex Normal Toolkit and um, how Moto shades uh, the geometry. So I thought I would just show a quick uh, little tip on how to view your Vertex Normals. So if you come over to View, you can see that I have Show Vertex Normals uh, enabled, uh, but I can't see the actual Vertex Normals for either selected uh, mesh, and that's because we don't have a Vertex Normal map. Um, so when you create uh, a new vertex normal map uh, by coming over to vertex map type and clicking vertex normal map and then clicking OK, uh, you can see uh, your vertex normals, are these uh, purple lines emanating from uh, each vertex of these selected meshes. Um, but unlike previous versions of Moto, if I select this edge and then uh, click on the vertex normal tools to bring up the vertex normal tools palette, and if I click uh, soften, it actually won't have an effect on uh, the edges. And that's because things just work uh, slightly differently. Uh, so I'm going to delete this vertex normal and I'll show you how to actually um, create a vertex normal map that actually um, shows different vertex normals depending on how your shading is set up. So I'll just delete this and I'll come over to properties and now everything uh, regarding uh, vertex normals is uh, located on uh, at the material level. So in the material reflectance side tab, uh, you'll notice everything in uh, or every uh, important property uh, for shading is in the surface normal uh, section. So uh, right now, uh, smoothing angle is kind of uh, above everything. Smoothing angle is the most important thing. Right now, we have a smoothing angle of 40 degrees, uh, meaning that anything below uh, or anything, uh, yeah, anything below 40 degrees will become a hard edge. So if I change that quickly to uh, 90 degrees or 91 degrees, because I know that these uh, meshes consist of uh, 90 degree uh, angles. So if I change that to 91, you can see that it smooths uh, the shading. So I'll put that back down to 40. Uh, now, you can uh, make smoothing angle uh, kind of not uh, work or not um, kind of taken into consideration by uh, disable increase by smoothing angle. So by disable increase by smoothing angle, uh, it basically smooths everything. Uh, it just makes the smoothing angle uh, not important and um, it allows you to change the, sh uh, the shading uh, with the smoothing groups or hard edges. Uh, so an example of doing it with hard edges would be selecting this edge and hardening it uh, and then enable increase by hard edge. So this edge was hardened, and you can see that it is different from this edge, which wasn't hardened. So if I harden this one as well, uh, it too will be hardened, and then we can soften it. And uh, what's actually controlling the hardening is the hard edge map here. Um, so now if I, was, if I were to create a new map, and if we were to create a vertex normal map, uh, and click OK, and now because I still have uh, show vertex normals enabled, you can see that there's actually, uh, the vertex normals are um, displaying how you would expect. So uh, for this edge right here, which is hardened, you can see the shading on the top is different from the shading on the bottom. Uh, we have this kind of perpendicular uh, representation, these purple lines emanating from uh, this vertex. Uh, and that's what you would expect. Uh, whereas on uh, these two verts, uh, which are uh, creating this edge, which is softened, uh, you get this nice smooth shading here. Uh, and again, if I uh, delete that, uh, you won't be able to see the vertex normals. So you need a vertex normal map in order to uh, see the vertex normals. And when you create a vertex normal uh, now, it actually inherits uh, whatever shading you have set up in your surface normal. So if I were to turn off crease by hard edges uh, and delete my hard edge map, uh, the same will be true for uh, using smoothing groups. So if you create smoothing groups and then uh, create a normal map, uh, the, norm, the vertex normal map will inherit the, uh, uh, the, the data or the information from uh, your smoothing groups. So for example, I have these two meshes here. Uh, if I go into polygons mode and I bring up my uh, smoothing groups palette by clicking this button here, and just tearing that off. Uh, if I make this polygon a, uh, part of A smoothing group and this polygon part of B smoothing group, and then I select these two polygons, and I want these to be AB, so AB, meaning that they share uh, smoothing, or, so their shading should be uh, smooth. And then I come over to Properties, and in the Surface Normal section, 
I come over to smoothing groups and right now it's off but if I change it to crease now you can see uh, the actual shading difference uh, this edge appears hard uh, right here this edge appears hard because this polygon belongs to smoothing group A uh, this smoothing group belongs to uh, group B and these two polygons share a smoothing group uh, which is AB so that's just you know smoothing group basics and if I come over to lists you can see I have no maps and if I come over to view I still have show vertex normals enabled and if you want to see um, your vertex normals in the 3D viewport you can just click new map and uh, vertex map type vertex normal map click OK and now you have a vertex normal map and uh, it has inherited um, the uh, the information or the values from the smoothing groups. So you can see uh, because this polygon is uh, part of group A, you can see all of the vertices are kind of going in the same direction, and this is this polygon is uh, group B, so all of these vertices for this polygon are um, are going in the same direction. So this is uh, this is split smoothing basically, and uh, these. Uh, vertices are actually sharing the same normal direction right here and that's why it's giving you the uh, smoothing uh, the, sh the smooth shading so you don't need to have a vertex normal map uh, anymore if you just want to use um, smoothing groups uh, but I just thought it was a good idea to show um, how to view your uh, vertex normals uh, because if you don't have a vertex normal map and you come over to view show vertex normals it just won't show up without that map